thunderstorm scared some people off or what? We almost had to get the snow shovels out here this morning to scrape off the sidewalks with all the hail that came. So, a few things by way of announcements before we get started. Uh, keep praying for our kids and kids club. I talked with uh, Linda this last week, and uh, we're going to see if we can't work out picking up a few kids to play soccer and things out in the field uh, for about four weeks or so in a row, come maybe July or something. And then uh, we, uh, maybe August, I don't know, we got to plan it out. And then uh, we uh, want to keep praying for our kids and kids club, our youth. The elders are going to be meeting the 15th. So just so you know, note that it changed. Um, second quarterly uh, business meeting, election of officers and committees is coming up in August. I think that's it. We are singing today, Be Thou My Vision, Come People of the Risen King. Now as it's written, I, I need to remind you that the, the chorus is repeated twice, right? It's repeated twice. Well, we sing it, we repeat it at the end of the song. So just keep that in mind. And then sanctuary uh, today. I think that's it by way of announcements, unless I have missed something. Nope. OK, let's, uh, let's go to the Lord in prayer uh, as we begin our worship this morning. Father in heaven, we gather together as your church here in this place in the name of the Lord to worship you, the one true and living God, offering up thanks and praise to you, O Lord, for you are God, and beside you there is no other. And you have carried us along and continue to carry us, and we worship you, for you are worthy. We thank you so much, Lord, for all that you have done for us and all you continue to do. And we thank you, Lord, for inviting us into your presence because Jesus, with his own blood, entered the most holy place and anointed the holy place so that we are able to enter. We thank you. Father, it is, it is a wondrous thing, O oh Lord, to stand in your presence, to be in your presence. And Father, we pray that as we draw near to you, you draw near to us. For those who are not with us, Lord, we pray that they too would know your mercy and grace and presence in their lives in these moments. And Father, be honored. Be honored in our praise, our thanksgivings, our songs, our praying, and the proclamation of the word. Be honored and glorified. And may this be a place, Lord, where your name continues to be exalted and magnified. We praise you and thank you and commit this time to you through Jesus our Lord. Amen. Oh, we got some fancy stuff going on. Very nice. That's our, that's our sort of theme today, pursuing excellence. We're thinking about that again uh, in terms of uh, uh, the, the preaching of the word. We are singing, Be Thou My Vision, Come People of the Risen King and Sanctuary. We have it on the screen or in your worship bulletins and your song sheets. Let's stand together as we sing.
you're seated, greet one another this morning. Good morning, John.
All right, well, why does this always seem to get louder every week? <coughs> I don't know if somebody messes with the volume or it could probably be turned down quite a bit. That's usually not one of my fears is being heard. Being seen, maybe, but not being heard. We are reading from Psalm 66, 1 through 10. We're reading the first portion this week, uh, Lord willing, the next portion uh, uh, next week. <coughs> Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing the glory of His name. Make His praise glorious. All the earth will worship you and will sing praises to you. They will sing praises to your name. <coughs> he turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river on foot. There let us rejoice in him. Bless our God, O peoples, and sound his praise abroad, who keeps us in life and does not allow our feet to slip. <laughs> Let's pray together once again, shall we? Our gracious God and Father in heaven, thank you so much. For this time we have together to worship you, the one true and living God. Lord, your name is great, and we pray that it would be magnified here in this place. That you would continue to bring others to us, O Lord, to hear of your, of your great name. We pray. <coughs> we... Pardon me. We pray for the church, the health and well-being of the church, and for your watchfulness and guidance for us. We thank you and praise you. We ask that you would continue to be with us and guide us in our path and guide us into your path of righteousness for your name's sake. <clears throat> We remember our nation and those in authority over us. We pray, we pray for the welfare of our nation. <clears throat> we pray for peace, the peace of Christ. We pray, Father, that we might uh, prosper here in this place, that we might be strengthened to do your will, <clears throat> to follow you, O Lord, with whole hearts. We pray, continually pray for those in authority over us <clears throat> and ask that you would keep watch care over them as well, that they would honor you, that they would rule in wisdom with discernment. We pray, Father, that <clears throat> you would grant them the wherewithal to deal with various issues that arise, uh, foreign and domestic. We pray that you would be with the people of London, <clears throat> be with those families especially who have recently lost loved ones due to terrorist atta attacks, not just in London though, but also in Egypt and other places around the world, O oh Lord, Syria. Father, the enemy is seeking to drive out the church, to drive out any mention of your name, but we know your name is greater than all. We pray that, according to your sovereign will, your name would be made known here and around the world. <clears throat> and that it would, the knowledge of your name 
and of your grace and of the word of truth, the gospel, would penetrate those places where there are no churches allowed, where warfare is taking place and skirmishes abound. Lord, may your name be exalted. We remember our youth and the kids from Kids Club. We pray, Lord, that you would continue to be with them. And So I think some of the kids have finished up. Others are going to be finishing up this coming week with school. May they finish well. May you grant eyes to see and ears to hear and hearts that understand. Thank you for Phil's mom who continues to recover. Thank you that you have touched her and brought healing to her. We pray that you would continue to watch over her and continue to touch her life, that she might continue to be healed and and make it through the transition and be back home. Uh, We pray for Mary, who's going to be going to Cincinnati. We pray for safety and travel and the ministry that you have given to her. May she bear much fruit. Uh, Lord, for spring supervisor, Ello, uh, who's had some trouble, we pray that the answers would be forthcoming and that you would grant spring to be a witness in his life and also her friend that she volunteers with, the Science Museum. <clears throat> May your name be made known. For Becca and Leah, who are graduating, graduated, we pray, Lord, for your blessing in their lives and that your truth would reign in their hearts and minds and you would be a strength to them. <coughs> for Dave's friend, Joel, <coughs> Joel, who lost his job, and uh, we pray that you would be with him and his family. Uh, <coughs> and guide his steps and grant him, Lord, uh, another place. For Ken Miriam, who is recovering uh, from pneumonia, we pray that you would be with him and restore him. For Seven Stones, who is becoming a particular church here this coming week, next Sunday, I believe it is, where they'll meet together with representatives from the district offices and and engage in a great celebration and we thank you and rejoice with them for all that you have done for them and I pray Lord also for Susie and her brothers that they would continue that they would continue to know your comfort and help in their time of loss of their aunt Lord, that you would uh, be a strength and a shield about them and help them each step of the way, that they might know your comfort, that they might know your encouragement of heart, and that they might continue to walk before you and honor you. In all these things, Lord, we pray that you would be exalted and glorified, that you would be honored, Lord. And it's in your great name that we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Not only do uh, I struggle with allergy type stuff, but we have what we call the highly curse. And uh, I'm sure some of you are familiar with it, where that one little speck of something apparently decides to enter your windpipe or something. So thank you for the water and your help that way. <clears throat> We are thinking and continuing to think about excellence in the Christian life. Excellence. And last time, uh, we looked at pursuing excellence in the Christian life as a necessary proposition. That is, when you read the word ought in verse 1, if you have your Bibles...